I'm going to show you how to adjust the valves on your air-cooled Volkswagen engine. First, we have to collect a few tools. You'll need a flathead screwdriver, a feeler gauge with a 6,000th, 7,000th, and 8,000th measuring blade, a medium-sized monkey wrench, and an awesome 15-millimeter opened-end boxed-in wrench. Also, keep your handy Volkswagen manual close by. First, we need to rotate the flywheel to place cylinder one in the top dead center firing position. You'll see a notch in the flywheel. Line that up with the seam in the crankcase. A quick look at the distributor cap should look something like this. It's easy to verify if your valves are in the correct position. A simple tug on the rocker arm should reveal a small amount of play in each valve. The intake and exhaust valves for cylinder one are on the passenger side towards the front of the vehicle. Each valve should be set to have six thousandths of an inch of clearance. If adjustments must be made, then you'll need to loosen the adjustment screw with your 15 millimeter open end boxed in. Once the adjustment screw is loose, you can proceed with your adjustments using your feeler gauge. Once the proper clearance is set, go ahead and tighten the adjustment screw and then verify that the clearance hasn't changed. This process is tricky and may take several attempts, but proper valve adjustment is critical to the performance of these air-cooled engines. Once cylinder one is adjusted, you can move on to cylinder two. Simply rotate the flywheel counterclockwise one half rotation and this will place the engine in the proper adjusting position. Then repeat the same adjusting process as for cylinder one. With cylinder two complete, Another half rotation counterclockwise of the flywheel will place you in the position for cylinder three. Cylinder three is placed directly under the oil cooler of the engine and builds up more heat than the other cylinders. Adjust cylinder three to seven thousandths of an inch of clearance. Next. Right. Another half rotation of the flywheel will place you in adjusting position for cylinder four. Cylinder four should be adjusted with the same clearance as cylinders one and two. With cylinder four complete, all of your valves are now freshly adjusted. Now it's time for a test drive. I am the producer for today's holiday festivities. I will be assigning tasks as necessary, so we'll be expecting the participation of all participants.